Next, I will show you how to compute average rate of change over time. So this is a plot for uh, individual growth measurements for each individual. So you have a different color for different uh, individual boy and girl. And uh, so here is for this girl whose measures are shown with green dots, I put the linear regression slope uh, within this girl. So average slopes, value for slope indicate average rate of change for one unit, which is one year of age increase. Okay. So we are going to compute the slope for each single subject. At the end, we compare average slope, average rate of change between boys and girls. In order to do SPSS, and you go to split file. So first, you need to split file by ID and then perform linear regression for each uh, linear regression by age for each single subject. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, in order to do this analysis, and you need to be using the longitudinal format, longitudinally formatted data, so that this one. So we first split file by ID. And then I'll go to linear regression. And then we fit the linear regression by age, and the outcome is a growth measurement, and separately for each ID. And we already split the data by ID, so that's okay. And then you click, uh, and then you just click OK. And this is the result of this regression. So if you scroll down to this coefficient table, and then you can see each beta coefficient slope for ID number 2, 3, 4, 5, so each subject, okay? So now you have to uh, extract this slope value and then put it in a horizontal, uh, horizontally formatted data set. Okay? And you think it's tedious because you have to write down this value and then type it in the data set. But there is a very useful command in SPSS and called a pivot table. And, okay, if you double click on this table and you can actually edit this table. And then go to pivot. Okay. okay. So now uh, let's click on pivoting trace. Okay. So what you do is you move these orders of variables which appear on this outcome table and looks this way. Okay, so the variables are first in ID second and model at the last. And by doing that, and you can actually organize table and then just grouping this beta coefficients. Okay, so once you do that, and then you can just highlight that column and then paste into your horizontal logging data set. So let me do that. And go to SPSS and people table. And I will move variable at the top. Okay. So now let's go back to your SPSS. And then you have intercept as one chunk. And then second chunk would be just the slope beta coefficient for uh, this ID patient. And then what you do is you just highlight this entire column. So by by editing pivot tray, and now you have a chunk uh, of values for intercept, and then another chunk for slopes. Okay. So what you do is you just highlight this entire your column only for slope, which is coefficient for age, and copy. Okay, and then go to your horizontal data set. Go to your horizontal data set and paste into a new column. And then let's name this variable to slope. Okay, which is average rate of change. And let's make sure we didn't shift the row. So the last person's ID 27, value is 0.55. You go to SPSS. And last person ID 27, 
27 and so it's 0.55. Yes, that's, that's matched. That's matched. Okay, so the, uh, so now, and you created average within patient or within subject rate of tones as a summary measure. So analysis now is you compare mean average rate of change between boys and girls. So uh, do the same thing. Go back to mean parametric independent sample test. Okay. And now we put the growth, uh, we put the slope as an outcome and then run it. So p value is 0 0.04. So now you can say average rate of change is, uh, so we just want to make sure directionality is match. So you go to, um, well, let's split the file because I want to see median of average rate of change for boy and boys and girls. Okay, so we put sex under compare groups and then we go to descriptive statistics and I want to see median so put the slope and statistics and median okay and then you can see median rate of change by each year is 0.464 girls and median rate of change each year for boys a 0.76 millimeter so boy has a larger average change uh, for every year and then p-value is statistically different statistically significant of 0 0.04